Hello and welcome to night one, week 135 of my 193 country cooking challenge. We're cooking a country a week. This is night one, but today we're doing Paraguay. And we're cooking chipas first and then soi kui, which is sort of like a beef concoction, a beef casserole of some sorts. So let's move the camera and get started. Hopefully that's enough for the screen. And here we go. Hello and welcome. We are again trying out our meerkat shirt. So hopefully that's going to go well. And boom, boom, ba -da boom. Trying out our stand for the first time too. Hopefully that's going to freaking work like I wanted to. There we go. Ta-da! So we've got our mixing bowl, and I'm gonna get my water. I'm going to put my apron for this because I need to. Raga, raga, raga. So Paraguay is right there. Right there. Landlocked country and between Brazil, Argentina, and Bolivia. And it's the Guayani people and they speak Guayani in addition to Spanish. So here we get started. Uh, we have two and a half cups of yuca flour, which we have right over here. Just bought that. I'm gonna get a cup of cornmeal. Mm. Okay, cup of cornmeal. Got our cornmeal out. So, can you see? Yes, you can see, hi. So cornmeal. I'll try not to make a mess. I hate making a mess. I always make a mess. Just so you know, I hate working with flour of all kinds. So, this is going to be interesting. Cheapus. Cheapus. It's not Easter, but we're making cheapus. This is going to be our extra. So let's move this out of the way. Let's get our extra up here. I need a wide angle lens, I know. Um, one half teaspoon baking soda, baking powder, baking powder. Baking powder, baking powder, baking powder, baking powder. Baking soda, baking, do you love baking powder? What do you know? It's going to 
get our half teaspoon of baking powder out. Half teaspoon baking powder. Rub a doo. Okay, baking powder. Uh, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. Light seems funny. One. That's three quarter. One teaspoon. We're looking for one and a quarter. That's one and a quarter. Yeah, that happens. Not gonna let it get me down. One and a quarter. Of salt, and then we're gonna go with four eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Four eggs are gonna go on there. You. Oh, stop that. Bought that. It's weird the lighting on this. I'm just saying. Butter, I mean, a tablespoon of anise seeds. So let's roast those. Okay, 
So we're going with how much? A half. Um, one tablespoon. That's a lot. Good. We're going to toast our anise seeds. Anise in grano. I believe this is what you get licorice from. If I'm not mistaken. Ay, salvame, señor. No, if that was me, if that was you. One. What, one tablespoon, that's what we're getting. One tablespoon it is. And these seeds. Pop bar. Look awful funny. Okay. Uh, nice and grano. Can you see the stove? I can always move you, you know. So let's toast us some anise seeds, shall we? Can you see? Some many seeds for about a minute. Hi, we're cooking Paraguay. We're starting off making our uh, chipas. Chipas, which are sort of like bagels, they're an Easter breakfast bread, the Paraguayan chipa. Um, usually, uh, it's quite a deal to make it for Easter, but we're making it just now. These are anise seeds that we're toasting here, which smell, they do smell, um, because that's, I guess that's where you get licorice from. So that is what this is. Just toast it there for a minute. We're getting our ingredients together. Uh, making the bread and I I'm like this because I tell you flour is not my friend so We are really hoping and hoping and hoping that this works um, After we make the chipas, we're going to be making um, I don't know how you pronounce it Sio o kiu which uh, in the Guayani language is sort of like a ground beef casserole, uh, but that comes later. So this is not a good for this here. So now that we've toasted these, it smells. Here, can you smell? Hmm. Okay. So we'll move you back over. I've got a stand now, by the way. So yippee yahoo cow patty. Okay. Yeah. So we've got that. Hello, thank you so much for that. Uh, whoever that was, Olive, uh, that flashed by my screen very quickly. Mm, so, pardon if it gets a little wobbly every now and then here. Okay, uh, the recipe, uh, where there's a couple recipes for this I found, but one of them is from Savour, which, to be honest, has never steered me wrong. It's traditional, from Savour magazine, it's called Chipa, C-H-I-P-A-S. Uh, if you want the recipe, just tweet at me and I'll tweet you the recipe. Um, so we've got some of our ingredients uh, already here that we've prepped over here, our various flours. Um, we've got yucca flour and uh, our cornmeal and our um, sugar, uh, no, not our sugar, our salt, our anise seeds, our eggs. And then we're going to really hope and pray that this works. Uh, we need a shredded mozzarella grated Parmesan and crumbled feta. So we've got three types of cheese. And uh, and then sea salt to finish. 
and uh, I might as well get these ready. So I'm gonna get me my scale. Mm, yeah, I really need better lighting in here. And I'll be right back. Okay, uh, scale. Um, also short on bowls. That is a pain in the butt. Um, but it's the way it goes. So, since the cheeses are all gonna get mixed together anyway, I'm gonna stash them all in this bigger bowl. Oh, okay, so, um, three quarter cup. Oh, screw it. I won't weigh it. Um, three quarter cup of the mozzarella. So, the mozzarella is here. And we just went to the store to buy all our cheeses. So, mozzarella, cheddar, and feta. There's also another bread, which is sort of like the national dish of Paraguay, which we're doing on Tuesday. Um, which, everything I've read, it is phenomenal. Everyone just raves about it. Um, but we'll leave that one for Tuesday. Today, different type of cheesy bread. Um, but, 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 three quarter cup, three quarter cup grated mozzarella. So, yes, I'm not grating it myself. Um, I just don't have the patience for it right now. Um, so, three quarter cup grated mozzarella. So, three quarter cup grated mozzarella. Okay, in you go. And uh, then we get our one quarter cup grated Parmesan, which is, hey, hold this. Mozzarella Parmesan, I didn't get Parmesan. Oh, swell. So we're gonna be short one cheese. Uh, you know, sucks to be me. Um, one third, I hate it when that happens. One third cup of the grated feta. We don't have any Parmesan anywhere, do we? Hon? Well, I can look. Um, and let's see, feta, one third cup of the grated crumbled feta. So, got you. I'm not getting, whoa, that's a bit. Do we have a uh, grated uh, Parmesan anywhere? Yes, we do. Oh, that's wonderful. No, it's not grated, you know, it's I can deal with that. That I can do. Yes, and this here. Uh, good. So I shall do, oh, that's Pecorino. The same thing. Okay, you say so. Uh, um, beggars can't be choosers. And so we've got our cheddar. I'm listening to a uh, video upstairs. Okie doke. Uh, half a cup of shredded cheddar. So we've got, uh, this is two thirds, this is half. So half a cup of grated cheddar. Again, I'm not being exact because normally I'd be crazy exact, but I've just had to let that go. That's the medication is for. And uh, so uh, now we're gonna <laughs> grate our cheese. Um, let me put this away. Be right back. Quarter cup. Thankfully, that's not too much. Uh, so, quarter cup is here, and using pecorino because we have it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, uh, pecorino Romano. Well, here we go. Yeah, take out our little handy dandy Top Chef. Grater and we 
most vague measuring device here. This is not wise. Ah, I have a bowl right here. That's probably better. Okay, here we go. I really hate grading things by hand. I really, really do. There was something I made that was like required, you know, something like, it felt like a pound of cheese to be grated. And I was halfway into it when it dawned upon me. I have a food processor, you know. Okay, that looks like a quarter cup, so in you go. Abracadabra, we have our three cheeses. Ahem. Okay. I'm wondering, I, I had some more of my um, Papua New Guinean dish for leftovers today. And I wonder if I have an allergy to coconut milk, because it's really been in my throat. Um, and the last week was, you know, coconut milk every dish. So I went through more coconut milk than I would have in a lifetime. But such is Polynesia, or Melanesia in this case. But in any case, we're Paraguay. So we've got our cheeses. So, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, looks like we have our ingredients. Yahoo! So, here goes nothing. Okay. And I'm gonna have to take pictures somewhere along the way here, but, okay, whisk. Yucca flour. Yucca flour, it's very, very fine. In fact, it said yucca starch on it, but it said harina de, de yucca, which is flour. So in Spanish, it said flour. It's the only yucca, you know, type thing I found, so. And it's a good thing I went to um, the Latin market because the regular grocery store did not have it. So we've got our yucca flour over yonder. And of course I have to take pictures along the way, which is, oh, very exciting for you. Uh, it does a yucca flour, looks just like every other flour. Just finer, our cornstarch, uh, or cornmeal rather, not cornstarch. Uh, so that's gonna go in here. Um, you can kind of see, can you? Okay. Uh, and what was next? Um, uh, baking powder and salt. So, baking powder, I got baking powder. So, baking powder. And salt. Okay, and we're gonna whisk together as instructed with the whisk. Whisk, 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 whisk. Okay, gotta make sure I got that right. Uh, medium bowl, yes. Okay, here we go, whisking, whisking, whisking. You can kinda see, right? Yes. It's kicking up some dust too, which is always exciting. This is so fine, I mean, you can inhale it. Yucca from cassava. I don't know if you've used, used it or had it. Um, a starchy tuber. Uh, made some from Papua New Guinea that had, uh, our mumu had some yucca in it, which was nice. Okay, you appear to be, whoa. Okay, whisked together, you are. Uh, baking powder, using hands or a pastry cutter, getting a pastry cutter because I had the sense to buy one. Just need to find it. Here you are. Pastry cutter. I did not have one of these before. In fact, when I bought it at the store, they were like, what is that? How does that work? I says, I just need to scrape, you know, the stuff off the counter. The flour. In any case, blend butter into dry ingredients until a mixture holds together in peach-sized lumps. Okay, our butter's been sitting here. This whole stick of butter. Hi yay 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 So we're going to chop this up. I'm going to chop it with our little pastry cutter here. 
That was smart. Hello. Holy crap, I'm stupid. Oh boy, well I'm gonna need that, that on the counter anyway. Uh, good times. See what you see what you get when you uh, work on live broadcasting. Well, I needed to flower the counter anyway. So wowzers, that was stupid as hell. But again, process of learning. My whole thing is to learn, and I've learned not to drop a whole stick of butter into some powdery substance. Anyway. Uh, Pastry cutter. So, can you see? You can kind of see? Okay. Chopping. I've seen them do this on TV. Now I know why. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work, but there's no water or any other liquid. Using your hands or a pastry cutter, blend butter into dry ingredients until mixture holds together in pea sized lumps. So. Baker, I mean, I may not be a cook, but a baker is like further behind what I am, so. Uh, again, this whole process was to learn. Learning, learning, learning. Okay, here's the part where we use our hands. Well, but first. not take a picture of my mistake there, but I need to do that. Thank you! Okay, that is our picture there. And, uh, yes. well, um, no, not for a little bit, but it kind of screwed up, but uh, not majorly. I just dropped the whole stick of butter into the powder and it kind of went everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it makes for entertaining television, right? Anybody there? Yeah, uh, we have two visitors. Say hi. That's the husband, Doug. <laughs> Since this is going to require me using my hands, I'm going to need him to take some pictures while my arm deep in this stuff. Oh boy. I wondered if I should have. It didn't say anything about like making it. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely using my hands on this. Okay, I hate doing this. Ah! Oh my god. I don't know what to describe this feels like. It's like have you sat in a beanbag chair? It's all squishy. Tapioca pearls? Not even. It's, um... Well, it's got the lumpy thing that's sort of going. Maybe that's what they're shooting for. It's supposed to be pea-sized lumps until mixture holds together in pea-sized lumps. That's probably gonna take a lot longer than I expected. Uh, but then we make a well in the center of the mixture and whisk in the eggs and milk until a stiff dough forms. Fold in anise seeds and cheese until dough comes together in a firm ball. Divide dough into quarters, then divide each quarter into four equal-sized balls cover and chill for 20 to 30 minutes. So in those 20, 30 minutes, I'm going to be prepping the next phase of it. Or if not, um, then I may wind up starting a second stream, you know, so people don't sit there and just wait for something to work in the refrigerator. This is uh, uh, some kind of pea-sized things here so far, but uh, a lot of powder. And I use the right amount of butter, so that's not the problem. It's sort of starting to to do stuff. So I don't get to show off my lovely meerkat t-shirt that I bought that has the Cliffy Land right on it. See the little meerkat? I'm hoping they get uh, customized aprons. Um, they said that they're, you know, working on it, basically. But people have asked. So... Uh, Still, eh, it's sort of starting to form something. Uh, you're so quiet. Um, and uh, 
I got my stand for my phone, so that should help. Um, I do need to get a widescreen lens, or wide angle lens. Like, more than one person suggested that already, so maybe this weekend. But yes, I'm investigating Paraguay, um, which is fun. I have not been to Paraguay, I've been to Argentina, Brazil, uh, in terms of neighbors, but not to Paraguay. So, Asuncion. Uh, it's, well, it's maybe starting, something's starting to happen here. Yeah, very exciting. You know, I see these uh, instructional videos on YouTube. They kind of fast forward and they cut through all the boring parts. Uh, hey, what do you know? It's starting to happen. Magic. I don't know how close we can't get any closer too much, I guess. You better you fall into the eggs. Mm. Okay. Yeah, thankfully we're not under a giant amount of dinner time pressure tonight as we are most nights because it's Friday. I don't think I've done this on a Friday before. Um, seems everyone in the world is streaming on Friday nights, if my meerkat thing is to be believed. Um, okay. Pea-sized. I know what size a pea is. Uh, starting to, starting to. Yeah, I don't see how I could have done that with a pastry cutter. Well, sort of. Maybe it's all about patience. These things never tell you how long things take. It's like when you're lost on the road and you don't know if you've driven too far. If you wait too long, you're like hours out of your way. I see pea-sized yet. I see it starting to sort of form, but without any kind of liquid, I don't see how that really happens. Maybe I'm squeezing too hard. Yep, yep, yep. I don't see pea-sized anything. I don't, I don't, I don't. But, uh, no, I don't. I don't see pea-sized. Hello, whoever you are, welcome. Uh, can't touch the phone right now. There are lumps. Well, it's uh, feeling a little buttery. Oh, boy, this is gonna make 16 of these. There are two of us eating. So, um, we will have one apiece and then I'll take some to the folks and meeting an old friend in Miami tomorrow maybe she feels like they all cheap us. So, golly gee, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm making a well in the middle, but I really don't see pea-sized anything. I'm gonna wash my hands. next bit of comedy is going to be me cracking an egg, cracking four eggs. That is always good for a laugh. Okay. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You're going and the garbage goes over here. Okie doke. Uno. Dios mío, Santo Cristo, bendito, salva, cuídame de... Ok. Eh, 
Ay, Dios mío, Santo Cristo bendito, cuídeme, protege todo mal. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, there's the comedy. This is what you come for. That's what you come for, baby. Yeah, nothing like eggshells. I am so horrible at this. I can't even begin to tell you. not coming out for love or money. Come on, I do not want eggshells in my food. Come out. Maybe a spoon would be better. There's one. God, I'm such an idiot. Okay. Come for the comedy, stay for the food. Uh, come on, I know you got it. Okay. Eggshell two, three better. Eggshell four. Oh. oh boy, oh boy. Yep, there's one in there. I just don't know. I, I don't know. I did not grow up knowing these things, which is kind of how we got here. In case you didn't get the story the last three times. Um, so, we are going to make a well in the center of the mixture and whisk in the eggs and milk until a stiff dough forms. Okay, well I need to wash my hands again. Can you see? You can kind of see. Yeah. And I know I'm probably not doing this right. Okay, and milk. Until a stiff dough forms. So let's see how it works, shall we? Okay. Whisking till a stiff dough forms. Well, it's getting stiffer. That's what she's saying. Um, uh, fold in anise seeds and cheese until dough comes together into a firm ball. Divide dough into quarters, then divide each quarter into four equal sized balls, cover, and chill for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, you can kind of see, right? Okay. Ah. Baking is not my thing. I try to avoid it at all costs, but when I'm looking at recipes for Paraguay, you know, it's like when the national dish is, you know, what amounts to a cheese bread, you make a cheese bread. And it's not even the cheese bread we're making today, so. We got cardiovascular delight. Oh, that's, yeah, that's something. Okay, uh. Ay, Dios mío. Yeah, ow, owie, 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 owie. Oh my god. Okay, stiff. Whew. Okay, huh. breathing. Uh, fold in. Uh, this is really stuck in there. Oh. Is it safe to do this? Yes. Uh. I don't know how people do these things, I really don't. There should be like culinary school for people who don't want to be professional chefs. Uh, never learned anise seeds. So we're gonna fold in our anise seeds. Uh, take a quick peek, see who's here. Um, anise seeds. 
Okay, that's our anise seeds. Just gonna fold in. Okay. Ay, Dios mío. No, I don't think the whisk is doing it this time. I need to go to the wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. Smaller wooden spoon here. I do not know how to fold anything in. Ay, carajo. If you're Spanish speakers, I'm so... Mm -hmm. And, okay, any seeds? <sighs> uh, holy balls. Okay. That is really, really thick. <laughs> and, on, and to the thick, we're adding cheese. Here we go with the cheese. Those are my cheesy poops. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's folding. Oh, I don't know how you people do it. Folding in. Folding. Fold. Ay, carajo, coño, cocho, vaina. But las viejitas del pueblo hacen esto. Yeah, I needed a good workout. Oh my god. Okay, that is really. Holy cow. Ah. <sighs> um. Here, how about that? Let's Get, oh, that is really. Holy mother of god, that is hard. Okay. And so it said ball. I heard I distinctly heard the word ball. Um distinctly heard the word ball. Uh four letters, one word ball. I know that means ball, so uh yeah 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 It's a good thing I got the stand, you wouldn't be able to see a damn thing. Oh, oh. Jesus H. Hey, banking. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, it's sort of a bowl. It's just a bowl that's stuck to the sides. Ah, my God, it's gooey and sticky. But the picture. Firm ball and divide into quarters and then into other quarters. So, Yahoo. Uh, okay, ball. That is our ball. And uh, I had to buy a second baking sheet for this. Uh, okay, half. And then, okay, one more time. Divide dough into quarters, divide each quarter into four equal sized bowls. This is a uh, uh, pastry cutter. Maybe that does make sense. Make use of it. You know, I'm gonna take a picture of that and not anything else because once my hands are in it, I'm gonna be done. You got it? No, no, no. Good. <clears throat> okay, bowl quarter number one. Idea of me into four. Oh, good lord. Okay, okay, half, and then each half into another half. So, two. And then you go into two more halves. I'm sorry I can't angle it down more so you can see them landing on here. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. What's supposed to happen there? 
Or maybe this is how it's supposed to happen, I don't know. Okay, it's four. Okay, we're gonna do two. Eh, this is just, this isn't for the baking part, this is for the refrigerating part. Because I know in the baking part they need to be, and when they're old bagels, they need to be uh, three inches apart. So half and half. This is row number three and half of you. And then you. Lastly, half of ay carajo. Coño cochovaina. Half of you. Then you get divided in half also. It's totally sticking in my hands like nobody's business. Okay, and then lastly, we get you. And it is 619. So, uh, wash hands. Camera. Cover, 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 with the plastic, and then it's gonna go, it's gonna take me at least half an hour to clean up this mess. Uh, oh god, I hate plastic wrap. Are there courses in how to work with plastic wrap? They're all so quiet. I don't even know if I'm really on. My grand question.